Hey everybody, it's Miss Noe, and I'm going to show you how to do these, um, I guess these, this, these activities on K-16 and K-17. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't talk today. Anyway, so let's see, um, this one, relate division and fractions. I'm going to put it up, maybe. Okay, so this one. Um, write your answer as a proper fraction, a whole number, or a mixed number. This is 2 divided by 8. And remember, <clears throat> we said that 2 divided by 8, remember, a, a division problem is a fraction. Okay? And this is what we've been working on for days. But 2 eighths is, it, it needs to be simplified. Okay, so I can put two eighths in here, two divided by eight as a fraction. <clears throat> a better answer would be a reduced fraction. Okay, and again, this one can go in there. Seven divided by eight. All right, seven divided by eight. All right, are we are we good with that? Seven divided by three. Okay, this is where we have trouble because 7 divided by 3 needs to be, um, it needs to be made into a proper fraction, a whole number, or a mixed number. Let me see where I can get some, some, some tools. can't see my tools that I need. Well, here it is. So 7 divided by 3 is the same as 7 thirds, right? It's a fraction, 7 thirds. And it says write it as a proper fraction, a whole number, or a mixed number. And remember, a mixed number has a fractional part and a whole number part. 7 thirds, right, is 7 pieces of that are thirds. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Seven thirds. Okay. Well, these are, this is three thirds, so that's one whole, three thirds. Six thirds is two whole and one extra piece. So when I type it in, I've got two whole pieces, right? Two whole pizzas and then one third is seven thirds. All right, let's go back to case 17. Let me clear my screen. Case 17. Relate division and fractions. I hope that opened up K 17. Yes. <clears throat> While working at a soup kitchen, Judith made a pot of vegetable soup to serve 25 people, sorry. She made 10 quarts of soup and gave each person an equal portion. How much soup did each person get? Okay, so she made a pot of soup to serve 25 people and she made 10 quarts of soup. How, and gave each person an equal portion. So didn't she do 10 quarts of soup divided by 25 people, All right? 10 quarts of soup divided by 25 people, okay? Mrs. Chen is building a stone path through her backyard. She uses 25 equally sized stones to make a path that is 12 feet long. How long is each stone, okay? 25, no, it's, it's 12 feet divided by 25. Okay. All right, I'd like for you to do this skill and the last skill, and thank you very much.